again, breathe in, breathe out. Hold here, pull it, come on, come on here, yeah. come on here, yeah. come on here. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. So far so good. I think we uh, yeah, we are enjoying and we praise the Lord that this is a success. and uh, nice very nice track uh -huh. and uh, I enjoyed it for me it was uh, it was awesome uh, very nice good weather uh, I've enjoyed it all the way and, and I'm happy I'm still feeling strong I could even go a longer distance yes it should be easy but we made it 10 kilometers um, actually we are among the top 10 how was your experience brother this was a test 
but it was, it was a test of our self-sacrifice. It was a test of our perseverance, of our consistency. This was a test that we have won, and what we have won is not a run. What we have won is our friends who are in the streets who we want to help. That is what this run has been about. Because it was all about creating awareness about drugs. This is good for you, man. You know, to stay cool and to have a sober mind. If your mind is not sober, you can't say you are cool. So let's keep our mind sober by not going the drugs way. And the Lord shall bless us. Keep cool. My experience was good. I had to pull some people like pasta. But it was a good experience. It was excellent. I had a fantastic time. How many kilometers have you done? A whole five kilometers. Five. Woo! We've done ten kilometers. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How it was, was quite it? a race. It was quite a race. Uh, we loved. Th there was no competition. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this was a very good experience. I hope we would actually do the, this more often. Uh, probably once a month. That would be fine. Thanks. Uh, we've done ten kilometers. With Miguel and Amani and the rest. Oh, it was nice. At least now we are relieved. But I think we should be doing this more often. How often in a year? Uh, like five times. And then the rest we can be doing ourselves. It was a fun walk. I wish we'd be doing this often. To How keep often? us healthy. Uh, once a quarter. Oh, both? A lot of fun. Ten, ten kilometers. Ten kilometers. It was fun. How often would you want us to organize this? As often as you can. When possible. And we also realize that when you go as a team, you're able to endure easily. Okay. Thank you. We are glad to join this campaign of drug awareness. And I would um, recommend if the church would consider that we have it either quarterly or monthly. I have run the race like Peter. I have completed the race. Okay. It was very nice. In fact, we have run and we had drug awareness. People are asking, why, why are you guys running? What is this about? I think the church will make this a monthly, if not quarterly, event. I uh, met a lot of people. It was a, a lot of fun and it was healthy because uh, personally I walked. Um, I went for five kilometers. I draw singing, but to Menda. I went for the 10 kilometer run. Oh, fantastic. Uh, I did not even walk for a, a, for a centimeter. Okay. I ran the whole race. From the start to the end. Drug awareness is um, an important uh, aspect of our society, it's affecting every family and every estate. Mm -hmm. So it's good that we bring it out to light so that people know that drug, uh, we are combating the, this problem of drugs. We went for a walk today mm -hmm. and we are here with the Maxwell Academy group. Okay. This is our principal, Mr. Dander. My name is Larry Rusinescu. We had a really good time, uh, 5K, a walk, rather relaxed, but uh, still enough to build up a sweat. So we're so happy we could support the project and uh, Drug awareness uh, is, is a really important thing. We have come to join uh, the SDA Church in their drug walk or health walk this day. As you are aware, it's our mandate to coordinate the campaign against alcohol and drug abuse in the country. Do you do one-on-one -on -one counseling? One-on-one? -on -one? Yes, we do one-on-one -on -one counseling. We have uh, professional counselors uh, at our... A station. Our, we have a toll-free number, which is 1192. So from your Safaricom or uh, Telcom line, you can uh, call freely, get to meet with our professional counselors, and they'll get to advise you not only on alcohol and drugs, but also in other issues that are affecting us uh, as human beings. The experience was wonderful. In fact, I didn't do 20. According to my counter, it's 24 point something kilometers. It is the work of the church to identify the needs of the people who are around them and find a way of meeting their needs. And by meeting their physical or mental needs or challenges, we will be able to reach them spiritually and prepare them as we prepare ourselves for the second coming of Christ. The experience was quite interesting. Um, I enjoyed seeing the children, mothers walking and running with their children. I was happy to see the youth turning up in good number. And uh, the church was full and the, the, the roads were full and this is quite an impact. I am sure everyone who saw the group were uh, impacted. And they know as a church 
we are standing against the drugs and we are saying no to the drugs. So I enjoyed it and uh, I would like to see more and more of this. If it is organized, I'll participate. People are doing it fantastic. People are stretching. And the instructor is over there. They are keeping fit. Go while our cause we know must prevail. 